Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. To start this project, you're going to need some trash cans from the dollar store, and the amount depend upon what you'll be putting in them. Now you'll want to take the tag off, I and mean, you could leave it on, but they come off pretty easy, just like so, and then it's nice and clear. Now you can leave them plain or you can decorate them however you like. So here's an example of how you could decorate them. So on this trash can, this is just a, these are both my kitchen trash cans and I just wanted to decorate it with a little something. So these are just stickers that I got from the dollar store. And then this one, I also got these stickers from the dollar store, but this one helps me signify and let others know that this is for recycling in our home. So it just gives those trash cans a little extra something if you want. So I have placed chalkboard stickers on. You could use any sticker you want. And my point for this is now I can take a piece of chalk and write each person's name on it if I want or their initial. And then it's that easy. Now you could use a chalkboard marker if you like instead, or you can use a different sticker or just write even on the trash can itself. Now, one of the things I use this for is our winter gear. So. I take our hats and our gloves and I put them together, maybe a scarf or a gaiter, and then I place them into the bucket and we use this per family member for the winter time. But let's talk about some other options of what we can put in here as well. So now that winter's over, we're gonna talk about summer. So I've got some flip-flops, I've got some sunglasses, and I've got some sunscreen. Easy for grab and grow. If you have bulkier sandals, you can easily tuck them into each other for some more space saving. But let's go ahead and bring the bucket back. And then I'm gonna place the shoes in the bucket. I'm also gonna place the sunglasses in the bucket and you could get a sunglasses case if you prefer. And then my sunscreen. We put this by each person's jackets and different things by the front door. So when it's time to run, you grab what you need and you take them out. You can also add a water bottle to this because you always want to hydrate in the summertime too. So very simple and you've got yourself stuff to go for each person in the family on the way out the door. Another option of what you can do with this simple idea is put snacks in it. Kids are coming in and hungry all the time. You can separate them out per container by protein snacks and carby snacks and fruit snacks if you want to, depending upon how many of these you wanna have. So next you just get your container and you place your snacks into the container for easy grab and go. And you can place this under your you know, in your kitchen somewhere, um, maybe along your cabinets or somewhere that's easy for kids to reach on the back of a pantry door that's easy for kids to reach in and grab. Or again, right by your front door or your side door to the garage, quick grab and go snacks. Great for kids on the go all the time who are active. You've got them ready and available to them. Next up, we're gonna talk about games. So card games, these little handy, easy take with you games guessing things, dice to play things like addition, multiplication, or there are actually dice games out there. But anyways, you take these games and then you place them in the bucket. So we're gonna simply pick them up, put my bucket back here. I'm gonna place the cards in the bottom. Doesn't matter the order. I'm gonna put all of this in there. And then once again, you hang this by your front door and you've got games to take with you at any time. Now you could also put this in a toy room if you're trying to keep things together like Legos, different things like that, which we'll get into in a second. But all of this is great to take with you. And then these games are wonderful while you're waiting anywhere. So while you're waiting for your food at a restaurant, while you're waiting for a sports game to start, while you're hanging out anywhere, this creates great family moments and by keeping it by the door, you just pick one out, grab it, take it with you. Toys are another great thing you can keep in, whether they're inside or outside. These happen to be cool toys, but you could categorize your Legos in a container. You could put your matchbox cars, your action figures, anything per container to keep them together and then hang them up 
for kids to play with in a toy room or their bedroom. You can also hang these up outside so kids have easy access to these toys whenever they want. Just simply hang it up outside your home. So these happen again, be all pool toys. So if I keep these by my front door or out in the garage, I've got my quick grab easy pool toys to go on just a quick second. So the first thing you wanna do is decide where you're gonna put it and get a damp rag and you're gonna wipe it down. So make sure to get it good and clean because there's all kinds of stuff stuck on our walls. So this needs to dry 100% before you move on. Otherwise your command hooks won't stick. So while you're doing that, you can measure the width and the height between each command hook, depending upon how many of these trash cans you're hanging. Now you can hang them horizontally or vertically. It just depends upon what your needs are. Now it's time to talk about the command hook and it's important to pick one that will hold the right weight for what you're doing. So pick that out first before you leave the store or order them. You're gonna pull the hook apart, depending upon which kind it is, and we're gonna focus on the back. Now each strip says wall side and command side. So I'm gonna peel off the command side first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the back of the strip and press firmly. Next, I'm going to remove the wall side and place it on the wall where my mark is. And I'm gonna go ahead and press this firmly for 30 seconds. Now that it's been 30 seconds, I can hang up my hook. So this is our coat rack. And in the summer, we transition these from winter coats to windbreakers and raincoats. Now I have spaced them all out here so each person has their own space. And I did not need very heavy hooks because my family doesn't put things that are that heavy here. So I'm just sliding on the hooks and then we'll be ready to put the trash cans on the hooks. So now we're gonna focus on the hooks and for the trash cans, we're utilizing this right here, this little lip to hang them up. And all I do is slide that lip on the hook like so and I do that for each person and their hook. Now each person has their own space to use any time of year for any season and they're right above the coats. So depending upon what style of home you have, there are a lot of options. So you could go vertically as I mentioned and go with older up here, younger down. You could go underneath coats so that you have more access for younger kids, but let's talk about some more options as well. So this is my laundry room, and we could easily have put them on this side if I had a smaller space. Uh, lots of wall space here that could have worked. There's some more wall space on this side that could work. So a lot of times in different areas of your home, you have an underutilized wall space that could be great for a project like this. So as you can see here, we have an over the door hanging rack and we've used it for hats. So these hats are grab and go really quick to get out the door for summer and sun protection but the back of the door is often very underutilized and I could have hung two of those bins here and maybe two down lower or even way down low if you've got young kids and you could do them even vertically or again, horizontally, side by side, whatever you want. But you could utilize the concept on a door because this space is often underutilized. You could also use a space maybe next to the door to put this kind of idea as well. So this is our front entryway. And you could use this wall space, although this is a door, so again, I could put it on this side of the door, or I could open it up and put it on this side of the door and have it open and close. I could also put it on this door. I could also put it vertically on this space. And that's just my front door and my door to my garage. I could utilize my back door as well. I could utilize any little wall space. I could use my pantry door. I can use cabinet doors. I can use anything, especially with these command hooks because 
they are temporary, so you can easily remove them if you need to and put them in a different location. This is also fantastic for kids' rooms, for toy storage, book storage, and so much more. So we're gonna take a walk through my house and I'm just gonna show you even more ideas. So there's this vertical space right here next to my back door. There is a bay window here. That could be space where I use it underneath the kitchen table for anything I might need in my kitchen. This is a walkway mirror that's coming in and I could easily put it there. This is my kitchen and I have all this unused space under here that could be easily used for more grab and go storage. I also have a pantry door. I could put it on the inside or the outside of a pantry door. If you're lacking for storage around your TV, you could hang up the buckets in here for video games and more. And lastly, this was our toy room as our kids grew up, but now they're much older. I could have easily used this wall space over here to hang a bunch of buckets or in any of these little side walls. Could have been a potential idea of where to hang some of those buckets as well for toy storage. And I hope this inspires you to create some easy and inexpensive storage from your home. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chatscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.